a very good afternoon dear children of class 10th so uh, today i am going to discuss the first poem of your book first flight right so uh, children the title of the poem is dust of snow dust of snow so uh, this is a poem written by a very famous american poet robert frost you know uh, frost is uh, such a poet like uh, who has that capability of uh, giving a very big message in a very few words i would say a very few words and you know uh, he himself was uh, proud of his compact poems because uh, his poems seems uh, uh, to convey uh, like a very very big message outwardly if you see his poems uh, you may feel that uh, this is a very short poem but in fact those short poems give a big message to the readers right so dust of snow is one of those poems right so it's a very short poem of only eight lines and you know uh, it has only 34 words right so and the vocabulary is very easy i would say so i hope you would enjoy the poem right so see children uh, in the introduction i would like to tell you that it's a simple tale a simple story right in which the poet says that snow fell on him dust of snow fell on him see i would recite at once the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree so very simply he uses two symbols two symbols in the first stanza and both these symbols are giving a hint of something that is negative something that is not considered good that is not considered bright or you may say that is not considered positive right so in this poem in the first stanza the poet talks about a crow that is considered a bad symbol and second is a hemlock tree hemlock tree uh, is a tree with uh, white flowers and it's a poisonous one right so uh, poison can never be counted in positive things so robert frost has taken two examples in the first stanza in fact in this whole poem he talks about two things first is uh, first as crow and second as hemlock tree right so both these things signify something negative something bad something unpleasant i would say right so what he describes see in the first stanza it seems that uh, the poet is uh, probably upset and he is sitting under the hemlock tree hemlock tree that tree which is considered very poisonous right so the poet is probably in a sad mood and he is sitting under the hemlock tree right so what happened all of a sudden see as he describes abruptly the way a crow shook down on me it means suddenly a crow who was probably sitting on that hemlock tree it shook the tree it means it moved the it moved some part of the tree and some particles of snow must have fallen upon the poet due to that movement of the crow because crow was sitting on that hemlock tree and suddenly the crow moved from its position it somehow shook that uh, it's the next form of shake we often use shake shook shaken right second form of shake so it means to move something to stir something the crow must have moved from its place and due to that movement some particles of snow fell on the poet that's what he says in the first stanza so i hope that's clear the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree next he says that has given my heart a change of mood see in the first stanza in the opening stanza he is telling that some incident has happened 
and in the second one he is telling us the result of the incident that happened in the first stanza see he says that the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of the day i had rude very very uh, beautiful line rude uh, you know means uh, feeling uh, sad about something uh, feeling disturbed about right so he says that like he was not feeling good he was sitting under a hemlock tree suddenly due to the shaking of a bird on that tree some dust some particles of snow fell upon the poet so what happens next that the poet didn't take it negatively right both these are as i told you crow as well as hemlock tree like both these things are considered as bad omens are considered as negative things right uh, but the poet robert frost is taking them as positive as he says that he was in a bad mood but as soon as that crow shook that tree and some dust particles some uh, particles of snow fell on the poet due to that the soft and cold touch of that snow it changed the poet's mood from sad to a happy one as he says has given my heart a change of mood right and in the last line he says and saved some part of the day i had rude means otherwise the poet must have spent his day in a sad mood only but because uh, the crow had shaken that tree some uh, snow had uh, fallen upon him so that's why his mood was changed from sad to a happy one right so he felt refreshed after that right so like very simply you may consider that the poet is actually conveying the message that uh, these are just perceptions like uh, if somebody feels that if a black cat crosses your way like your day will be ruined if you saw this if you saw that your day will become bad or your uh, you know day's activities would be ruined so these are just rumors right carried on by fools there is no reality in these things there is no logic in these things so there is nothing like good omen or bad omen there is nothing like uh, a thing being positive or negative right so frost here tries to prove that like everything has its own significance in this world right and he very clearly says here that he was able to change his mind from sad to a happy one due to the presence of that crow on that hemlock tree right so i hope the poem is clear to all of you so in the end i would like to uh, you know tell you something distinct about that children uh, as i told you uh, hemlock tree is a poisonous one and it is considered a bad omen by people so robert frost it mean i mean the poet he could choose an oak tree or a pine tree a banana tree a coconut tree any other tree right but he willingly chose hemlock tree which is usually associated with poison and toxic substances right so he beautifies the snow that adorns it adorns means decorates it polishes it he uh, like beautifies that scene and created a totally different atmosphere right so like he has used those elements which are generally considered negative by people but frost here has expressed the idea that he feels that crow and hemlock tree things like these are not at all bad actually nothing is good and nothing is bad it's all about human beings perceptions right so i hope the idea conveyed in the poem is clear to all of you right so stay at home stay safe thank you